What's up, y'all? It's me. It's your boy, Asmin Gold, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get four free bags. Two of them are 22 slot, and two of them are 24 slot, and all this is going to take you in total about an hour, okay? Now, the first place we're at here is we're at Kunwai Summit. Now, this is a quest that um, you can get at, I guess, like probably 87 or higher, and it's called the Burlap Trail or something like that, and um, I think I'm pretty sure I showed it on the map here. And uh, I'm going to kind of go through the entire quest line just for a couple of minutes, just because I remember there was one video I did and I didn't go through the whole quest line and people got confused. I don't know how, but they do apparently. And so we're just going to go through the whole quest line. But either way, so this is going to give you the Grummel Pack, okay? And the Grummel Pack, what is the Grummel Pack? The Grummel Pack is a 24 slot bag. And that means that, like, all right, because I looked the other day because I was thinking about what, what should I sell. Sorry. What should I sell on the auction house? Because I was thinking about trying to make some more money, etc. And I was like, okay, maybe I could sell uh, amber silk bags. Because I was actually looking with my, with my mom because she didn't know, because she wanted to make some money to buy some BOE gear. And so anyway, um, the first thing I looked at is I looked at bags, or I looked at cloth. And then I was like, okay, so cloth is cheap. How much are bags? And the amber silk bag is like 300 gold. Like it's 300 gold and like the materials are like 100 gold so y'all y'all better bet that i got a whole bunch of those on the auction house but on top of that actually i'll let her i'll let her do that but either way uh point here point here is that the bags sell for a lot of money okay and so do you want to spend do you want to spend 1200 gold probably not and so you can get these other bags for free these are free bags you don't have to pay any money for them and that's all it really takes now the other bags that we're going to look at uh, because I know some of you guys are don't really need to go through the whole quest line, so I'm just going to tell you. Uh, the other bags that we're looking at is there's a 24-slot bag from ZA, and you get that from a quest that you just pick up whenever you start the instance. It's obviously a 25-man, or sorry, 5-man heroic. And um, also there is a bag, there are bags from Onyxia and from Sartherian, and both of those bags are 22-slot. And so, as I said before, these are extremely easy to get, and you can also get some more transmog gear, and, um, you know, with Sartherian, you can get them out, and with Anexia, you might get them out, depending on how you do Sartherian. And so there it is. There's a no pack left behind, and that's the quest that you really want to get here. And this, qu this quest was kind of a pain in the ass to do, honestly, but being as level 87 quest, and this character is like, I don't know, 530 or 540 or something, it's not really too big of a deal. And so either way, and, uh, you know, these things are very easy to do. So, I mean, if you've got a level 100 character, I'm pretty sure you can handle it because my uh, level 90, like, healing priest could handle it too. And so don't worry about the difficulty of any of this stuff. Uh, just, I mean, just get it done as fast as you can. And, uh, again, like, one of the reasons also is that even if you can get other bags, there's, like, seven slots in your bank. I think it's, like, seven. Seven slots in your bank that you can, instead of having, you know, instead of buying these Ember Silk bags or whatever else, you can instead, instead, you get all these other packs and, like, you get the Grummel pack and all that sort of stuff, and you don't even have to pay for it. Now, there are some other bags that you can get besides these. Um, just off the top of my head, Oh, oh, there's one in, in uh, not Pissaron, Forge of Souls that you can get from Brojanum. Yeah, I think that's how it pronounces his name. I'm not entirely sure. And uh, that's another bag that you can get, but that's not a 100% drop chance, whereas these are. And see, there's no pack left behind. And then you turn it in, the Grummel Packs, and you get a Grummel Pack, which is a 24-slot bag. And that's all it takes to get that one. So that's very easy. You don't have to do those other two quests. It's just those few quests. Before I, uh, I slowed this down, I guess, or I sped it up, sped it up, um, it took me, like, I don't know, eight minutes or something like that. Now, now we're over here in Sartherian. Y'all don't know where this is. This is in Northrend, and, uh, you only have to do this on Tin Man. As you can see, it's an ice ground under Wormrest Temple. And, uh, you know, as you can see, I just go, you go to Dalaran, you fly directly, uh, south or downwards, either way, and, uh, you're going to show up here. Now, this is going to take, uh, if you're good, this will take, like, ten seconds, honestly. Like, even, as I said before, even this terrible healing priest... I'm going to be able to go in there and kill Sartherian with all the trash up and all the drakes like it's nobody's business. If you're having trouble being able to do what I'm about to do, just go around and kill all the trash, all right? If you don't kill all the purple drakes, if all the purple drakes are alive whenever you pull the boss, and by the time you kill them, um, you get them out. Also, it's the black drake, and it looks just like, uh, well, it looks just like a black drake, pretty much. It's kind of simple, actually. And anyway, so whenever you do pull Sartherian, all the all the trash comes. Now, don't really just ignore them. They're just they're just gonna do their own thing, okay? But either way, uh, you just loot Sartherian, and then I think you can get that the dragon hide bag. Yeah, there it is, the dragon hide bag, 
And so that's another 22 slot bag that you just got for about 10 seconds of work, which beats the hell out of having, oh, and you also get that other bag, the, the satchel of spoils, something like that. That's got another 50 gold in it. How about that? And so that's it sure as hell, it, it, well, it beats the hell out of, out of spending 300 gold to get something that you can do in 10 minutes, right? And so this is Onyxia's layer. Uh, there it is. I hope everybody knows where it is, but let's just say you started the game this week or something like that. That's where it is, okay? Either way, uh, you just got to go in here and click on these, and there's no attunement. There's nothing that you've got to do for any of these, not even ZA. You just have to be level 85. I mean, like, if you're trying to do this at level 85, bro, just, just get 100. Just go get 100, and, and then just come do it, no problem, right? Because you're trying to do this at 85, you're probably going to be having a bad day. Either way, you just pull this trash, and you have to kill Onyxia. Onyxia also drops a mount. Uh, looks pretty much just like Onyxia. Um, in my opinion, I think it's kind of a shitty mount, even though I farmed it for, like, six months, and I finally got it. I don't think I've ever ridden it, except to, uh, to I guess, like, whenever somebody else likes to show me, like, hey, look at this mount I got. I always get on the same mount, but, like, yeah, I remember when I got that. I was pretty happy. Like, that's not really a big deal, though. You know, but either way, uh, so you damage Onyxia. She flies up in the air. Then she flies to the other side of the room. And uh, if you're melee, you can still hit her. It's not uh, it's not the end of the world or anything like that. And um, then she's just going to kind of fly down, and then she dies. So that's pretty simple. And she will drop the enlarged Onyxia Hide backpack. Now, y'all y'all might not know this, but back in the day, she used to also drop a bag, and it was an 18-slot bag. And she also drops Ashen uh, Gems, and she didn't drop them out or anything like that. And so there it is right there. So she used to drop an 18-slot bag. And y'all, back then, 18-slot bag... That was big dick, okay? And the reason for that is, oh, here, here's, by the way, here's ZA. We'll talk about the bag in a second. Here's ZA. You just go inside the instance. It's not too hard to do. Uh, I apologize, I didn't show it on the map, but it's all the way at the top of Eastern Kingdoms, uh, right above um, Eastern Plaguelands. So either way, like, yo, ZA, um, or not ZA, uh, the, Onyx, the, the Onyxia Hide backpack, and you get the quest from this guy right here, Tired Hexweave Bag. And um, it's real easy. You just go through ZA, and we're gonna go through the whole thing again, just so nobody gets confused in the video. Man, like I remember, because the only other bags you were able to get that were 18 slot back then was the bottomless bag, and I think you need moon cloth to make that. And moon cloth had it was like one of the first materials. Like y'all, y'all know now, is like everything is like gated or somehow you have to spend extra time to do it, or you can only make one a day, or you can only make one every four hours, something like that. Well, back then, this was the only thing that was like that. And so you had to put together this moon cloth. And like, so these bottomless bags were worth, I don't know, like they were worth a lot of money. They were worth like a thousand gold back then. And like a thousand gold comparatively to now is um, uh, probably like 70 or 80,000 gold, to be honest. It's, it was a lot of money. And so people actually invested and had all bottomless bags. And so if you had that stuff, like you were a serious player. And uh, But besides that, besides the bottomless bag, you were able to get the Onyxia Hyde backpack. And back then, Onyxia was a 40-man raid. And so in order to actually get that bag, you had to beat 40 other people. And so I remember one time whenever uh, I even did this at 70 and somebody ninja the bag. And um, I think actually that might have, somebody might have been me, but I just don't really remember. <laughs> Either way, um, so ZA did change a little bit since uh, maybe you guys might have done it at 85. If you guys remember, oh, and um, I guess I just went right through it. But uh, also after you kill the bosses, there's like a guy in a cage somewhere nearby the boss. And um, if you release that person, they open the chest and you can get gold from the chest. And um, also you can get the bear, the uh, Mani uh, battle bear while you're here. But we're not really talking about that too much. Um, either way, you only have to kill two of the avatars. You don't have to kill all four of the avatars. So you only have to kill like Nalak and... Um, is it Nalak? I think it's... No, um... I don't know, damn, I don't remember, but it's two of the bosses, okay, what it comes down to is you only have to kill, like, let's say the bear boss and the eagle boss, like the guy I just killed a minute ago, you only have to kill those two, you don't have to kill the lynx boss or the, uh, or the dragon hawk, and so that kind of makes things a little bit faster, I guess, but it's not really too big of a deal, I mean, and so, as I said before, you can go and you can get the bear mount at the same time here, this guy sometimes does a lot of damage to you, if, uh, you, because, like, he has that, that buff on you, and that buff makes you take, I think it's, like, 500% extra physical damage, but, as I said, uh, if you're level 90, even, you could probably just go in there and kill him without any trouble, considering this is, like, a, a priest, and you go up and kill him, and so you have to kill, you don't actually even have to finish the instance, you, all you have to do, all you have to do is kill Hexlord, 
And so it hex would Malakras. So I remember man, I remember doing this at level 70, and this was just like the biggest pain in the ass. Like this guy was really hard to kill. And uh, it was probably because I was in a shit yield. But uh, that kind of didn't really have uh, didn't really help me too much. He has adds with him. Uh, if you're any decently geared at all, it the ads shouldn't do anything, it doesn't matter. So you loot the hex sword, get the little item that he drops, and uh, then you just go right all the way back to the uh, the beginning of the instance. It does say that the uh, that the quest is at the end, but you don't actually have to complete it. You just have to I think my mom is cooking onions or something oh my god so either way you just come back here at the end of the uh, at the beginning of the instance turn this thing in here here and there it is tattered hex we bag and like you get some you know quest reward at the same time and so that's all it takes guys like this video is kind of longer than it had to be because i want to show everything but even if i short even if i made it just as long you can get all this done in one hour all this done in one hour and you can get all the bags that you need because you these are four bags and your character can only have four bag slots so that's all it takes guys Anyway, uh, again, make sure that you get the Grummel Pack, the uh, Enlarge and Hexia Hide Backpack, the Sartharian, the Dragon Hide Bag, and also the um, Tired Hex Weave Bag, I think this was called, Hex Cloth, whatever. Either way, the uh, ZA Bag, and that's going to be your four bags for your character. Oh, for free. Actually, you get some money for it, too, because you're doing the class and you're looting stuff. Oh, thanks for watching, and like, comment, and subscribe.